What's up YouTube, it's Kumo. For this video, we will be doing one of the hardest achievements to get in Dead by Daylight. That is Evil Incarnate with Michael Myers. To do this, you have to use Judas Tombstone and kill every survivor while in Tier 3 by your hand. So let's go ahead and go over what you're going to need. This will be a short guide and gameplay on how to get the achievement and what you're going to need to do it. If you want to just skip to the gameplay, go ahead and fast forward a few minutes and I'll see you there. Those who have stayed, let's get into it. So the achievement itself, like I said, you have to kill every survivor in the trial by your hand. When you hit tier 3 with Judith's tombstone, you can instantly kill them. It does not matter if they are injured or healthy, you can instantly kill them. They do not need to be hooked at all. So let's go ahead and break it down. So we got Judith's tombstone, the first important piece. A large and heavy granite tombstone stolen from Mount St. Clair Cemetery, belonging to Judith Myers. Locks you have potential to kill healthy or injured survivors with Evil Within 3. Disables the ability to stop with Evil Within 3. Tremendously increases the amount of Evil required to reach Evil Within 3. And moderately decreases movement speed. And to do that, also, if you hit tier 3 without a fragrant tuft of air, you can only, I think, kill one or two survivors, then you'll run out and you'll be out of juice. So what we're going to need is a fragrant tuft of air. A tuft of blonde hair, which was forcefully torn off of someone's scalp, releases hints of feminine floral fragrance, unlimited duration of evil within three, tremendously increases the amount of evil required to reach evil within three. So these two debuffs of tremendously increases the amount will uh, to get evil within three stacked together, unfortunately. But with the tuft of hair, the perp not the pink one is what we need, not the purple one. So if you use this tombstone piece and with the lock of hair you will not be able to kill everyone in the trial there will not be enough evil within but there's just enough evil within with these two together to get all of the kills done and once you hit evil within three you're infinite throughout the whole game you have unlimited duration of it so all you have to do is stock enough at a time to kill everyone so what we're going to bring to help us out is hex thrill of the hunt Gain 10% more blood points for actions in the Hunter category for each token. Survivor's cleansing speed is reduced by 5% for each token. Gain a notification when someone starts working on a Hex Totem. So we have Thrill of the Hunt to protect us when someone tries to cleanse our ruins so we do not get gen rushed. Then this is the import, most important perk that you're going to need. This is play with your food. You become obsessed with one survivor. Every time you chase your obsession and let them escape, you receive a token up to the maximum of three tokens. Each token increases your movement speed by 5%. Each offensive action spends one token. So this is really, really important. This will negate the moderately decreased movement speed. So this will make it so if we stalk our survivor that's the obsession and they run, again, run away, we'll get a token. And you'll get... Um, 15% movement speed with three tokens and I believe when we kill someone they will you will not lose a token at all it's only if you hit them I believe I could be wrong but I tried it once before and I did not lose a token for killing them so this is essential to use with the tombstone so you're not super slow because moderately decreased movement speed on Myers is terribly bad then we have whispers this will tell us if the entity is nearer or if we are with 40 meters in range of a survivor, th that is absolute must. And also, it's highly important that you bring... Let's see if I have one in my blood whip. I believe I do. Yes. Black Ward. You are going to need a Black Ward. What that will do is you'll get protection against the loss of your add-ons in the end of the trial. So it's very important that you bring this because it will protect you if you lose your trial and you don't kill everyone your ultra rare add-ons will not be burned this will be burned instead so these two together it's really rare to get i burned so much blood points trying to get them i think 400,000. but I, if you have these two just keep burning blood points until you get them and get as many black wards as you can so with that out of the way let's jump into the match and start queuing up so i brought hex of the hunt uh, this is an uncommon perk. It does not belong to anyone, I believe. And, um, so you... I wanted to bring in, um... Add-ons that people 
don't need to grind for so this achievement is still available for everyone to use the opinion the best add-ons that you can bring for this like, the only thing that you're gonna need is hex ruin from the hag and play with your food comes with michael itself and whispers is a very rare perk that you can just get from um the blood web in general it is free for everyone so these three perks whispers play with your food and hex rule of the hunt are free and Hex Rune is the only one that you're going to need to get, and you get that from leveling up the hack. I believe it's level 40, or 35 actually. If you hit level 35, you can unlock this for all your survivors with the hack. Or if you're lucky, buy it in the Shrine of Secrets. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, I didn't press triangle fast enough, but oh, that's okay. So, I've been trying to do this for a little bit now, and each time I fall completely short uh, one time I had everyone in kill range. I killed three people, but the last person used unbreakable and he escaped right in front of the hatch and it was so unfortunate. <clears throat> so that's why we have a black ward to help us out for situations like this. So don't stress out if you don't get the achievement and also um, don't worry if you're on your last gen. It's going to take a while to stalk everyone, but as soon as you start killing people, the game will be slowed down tremendously. As long as you're not 5 gen, it's winnable. Okay? So just do your best you can, and don't stress. Just bring a lot of black wards so you can try over and over again. You need a little bit of luck to get this done. Also, um... What was I going to say? Um, stalk as many people as you can. Um, try to hide and stalk them all. Uh, you get more stalking if you stalk multiple people. But there's only a certain amount of energy you can stalk from people. So once it's like highlighted extremely red, that means they ran out of juice that you cannot stalk them anymore. So you have to move on to the next person. And make sure you do not kill your obsession by accident. If you have not gotten a token from anyone yet, you can smack them. If you have not gotten a token from your obsession yet, you can smack uh, a killer or a survivor and see if they're, they're your obsession or not, so you just know. Like, okay, this, this is not my obsession, I, don't, I I can kill them in the trial. So, see, whispers going off, and we're just gonna chill. It's pointing at me. Oh, two people, great. There we go. <laughs> it's so funny when they like just run. Like, oh no, I don't want to be stuck. you, Mr. Tap. So he's not my obsession. So he can waste his time healing. Hello. Hello.
Thank you, Tap. That was very helpful. found our obsession yet. Alright, I think that's all we can get out of her. Let's break this get rid of it. Two gens left. Not a big deal. Like I said, as soon as we start um, killing people, there you are. Hello, obsession. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Probably our obsession, but at this point, I don't care. Just die, David. Throw him on the ground. It's our obsession, but that's okay. No problem. Usually, you don't want to do that, but I didn't care. And it did use one of our tokens, okay. That's fine. Down her. Okay, someone's over here. Or two down, two to go. Jeez, man. Bing, bing, bing.
whispers. Alright, they're here. Somewhere in this area. Thank God for whispers. Hello. Which way did you go? Alright. Okay, she went this way. Get her, don't worry, guys. Stay calm and collected, and don't use the lunge, just tap it. See, like this tap. So, if you hold down the attack button, you'll lunge, and it will not count as a it will count as just downing them. So, because you'll just smack them, but if you just press it, boom, that's all you need to do. And there we go, evil incarnate. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and hopefully this guide will help you all out, and like I said, bring those two add-ons and, um, enough, uh, enough black ward, and you'll be good to go, and don't worry if you guys are at your last gen, because as soon as you start killing people, it'll slow the game down tremendously. So, um, yeah, just keep trying and you'll get it um, I did make like this is basically budget add-ons these are not crazy add-ons these are most three out of the four are free that's why I wanted to post this video and make this guide out of it because you know hex thrill the hunts free play with your foods free whispers is free the only issue is getting hex ruin and you get that by um, uh, getting hag the level I think 35 it is. Let's, let's check real quick. So we'll dump some blood points into her just in case. I want to level her up anyway, so. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I think I already unlocked it for everyone, but I'm pretty sure it's level um, 35. Uh, let's see. What else? see it's a hag perk so yeah and uh, hopefully that helped and please like subscribe and share and i will see you guys in the next video peace